Empowering Scientists and Entrepreneurs, CSIR's One Week, One Lab Launch CSIR CCMB launches the One Week, One Lab initiative. Dr. N. Kalasalvi, Director General of CSIR and Secretary DSIR, urges young researchers to value all labs, embrace entrepreneurship, fight climate change, and maintain the human touch in AI and machine learning advancements. CSIR is encouraged to support sustainable startups for India's future impact. Abdul Kalam remains her role model. Government earns huge dividends, over 3,400 crore from NIIF and ECGC. The government received dividend tranches of more than 3,400 crore rupees from NIIF and ECGC. In the current fiscal, it has already collected 5,200 crore rupees as dividends from public sector companies. Deepam Secretary, Tuhin Kanta Pandey, tweeted that the government received approximately 3,031 crore rupees and 434 crore rupees from NIIFL and ECGC, respectively. Thriving FPO Promotion, 10K launched, 6.3K registered nationwide. Central Government's FPO Promotion Scheme shows progress. 10,000 FPOs launched with a budget of 6,865 crore rupees. Over 6,300 FPOs registered across the country under various implementing agencies, as per official sources. Wheat Quota to Bhutan, Exporter Applications Invited Government invites exporter applications to allocate wheat quota to Bhutan for 2023-24 on humanitarian and food security grounds. DGFT outlines the procedure based on Bhutan's requests, with approved export quantities of 14,184 tons of wheat grain, 5,326 tons of atta, and 15,226 tons of maida. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to My Startup TV.